This is Geometry Lesson 5, 7, Sums of Angle Measures and Polygons. Now in the last lesson we talked about the Triangle Sum Theorem, where all the angles of a triangle had a sum of 180 degrees. We're going to use this sum theorem to discover and prove a quadrilateral sum theorem, and then we're going to apply it to the Polygon Sum Theorem. So let's take a look at this first quadrilateral that we have. We're going to say that we're going to let S equal the sum of the measures of all the angles of this quadrilateral. So we're going to take a look at angle DQU, angle U, angle UAD, and angle D. And so we're going to start by drawing an auxiliary segment, line segment AQ, and notice that that splits angle Q, I'm sorry, angle UAD into two angles, and it splits U angle UQD into two angles as well. So we're going to use the angle addition assumption and say that angle UAD is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2, just like you see here pictured. And we're going to say that angle DQU is equal to the measure of angle 3 and angle 4, just like you have here. By substituting these expressions for the measure of angle UAD and the measure of angle DQU, we can say that instead of what we had up here, we're going to say the measure of angle 3 plus 4 plus U plus 1 plus 2 plus D equals the sum now. Now we're going to rearrange these and regroup them uh, to make it look like the sum. We took 3 plus U plus 1 plus 2 plus D plus 4. Now we know that from the triangle sum theorem that 3 plus U plus 1 has to equal 180 and the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle 4 has got to equal 180 also. So by substitution we can say that the sum is 180 plus 180 which gives us a sum of 360. So that proves the following theorem that the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex quadrilateral is 360 degrees. We're going to do this next activity here where in all the convex polygons shown below we have chosen one vertex A and we and drawn all of the possible diagonals from that vertex. I want you to fill in the table to try and find a formula for the sum of the measures of the angles of an n-gon. So I'll start and do the first one with you. We know that in a 5-gon, we've got three triangles. And so to find the sum of the measure of the angles of a polygon, we would want to go 3 times 180 equals 540. Let's take a look at the 6-gon. We have one, two, three, four triangles formed. So that's going to be four times 180, which would equal 720. What I'd like you to do now is finish the last two and hypothesize what the N column would look like. As you see here, I filled in the chart, and if you look above on the number of sides of the polygon, comparing the number of triangles that it's contained when you draw a segment from each vertex, or from the vertex, and draw in all the diagonals, it always is two less than the number of sides of the actual polygon. And we notice that each time we multiplied the number of triangles formed times 180, and so the number of triangles was formed was 2 less than the number of sides, so that's where we have n minus 2, and then multiplied by 180. So that brings us to the polygon sum theorem that says the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex n-gon is n minus 2 times 180. The next concept I'd like to address is what is exterior what is an exterior angle and then there's an exterior angle theorem for triangles that I'd like to go through. 
So the definition of an exterior angle of a polygon, an, ex an angle is an exterior angle of a polygon if and only if it forms a linear pair with one of the angles of a polygon. So if you look here at our triangle, we extend the side of the triangle and therefore I have, I form a linear pair with um, angle B, A, C, so the exterior angle would be D, A, B. As you see here, I extended side BC, and my exterior angle would be angle FCA. And if we extend AB, it is an exterior angle with angle, so that is CBE, but it, share, it makes forms a linear pair with angle ABF. I have an activity here that I'd like you to do. I'll read through it and then I'm going to have you stop the video. In the figure there are four angles whose measures are not given. Find the measure of each, and if you know it forms a linear pair, you can find that by subtracting from 180. Then I want you to compare the measure of each exterior angle of triangle ABC with the measure of the two interior angles that are not adjacent to it. For instance, compare the measure of angle DAB to angle ABC and angle BCA. Do the same for the other two exterior angles, and then I want you to decide if you know if you see any connection there. So please stop the video now and do the activity. Here are the calculations that you should have found. Angle DAB should be 158 degrees. And if you compare the other two angles, not adjacent to 158, you will see that 42 plus 116 makes 158. Look here, 64. If you add up 22 and 42, that also equals 64. Let's look at the 138 and compare that with 22 degrees and 116. That has a sum of 138 as well. And that's where our exterior angle theorem for triangles come from. In a triangle, the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the other two vertices of the triangle. So, for the figure at the right, the measure of angle 1 is going to be the same as 5 plus 6. The measure of angle 2 is going to be the sum of angle 4 plus angle 6 and the measure of angle 3 is going to be the same as the sum of 4 plus 5. In the next activity at the right is a pentagon with measures of four interior angles. I want you to stop the video and find the measure of the fifth interior angle, find the measure of each exterior angle shown, and then find the sum of the measures of its exterior angles and start the video when you are ready. Here are the calculations that I found when, when answering these questions. So I knew that the sum of a pentagon is going to be 3 times 180, so that would be 540 degrees. So I subtracted the 105, 110, 106, and 120 from 540, and that gives 99 degrees. Then I wanted to find the measure of each exterior angle shown, so I knew that they made linear pairs, so I subtracted 106 from 180, 120 from 180, and so on to get the, the calculations found around my pentagon. And then to find the sum of the measures of its exterior angles, I found that adding them all up gave me a sum of 360 degrees. And that brings us to the polygon exterior angle theorem that says the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex n-gon, one per vertex, is 360. We will work through the examples that I have here in class, so please don't, you do not need to do those. And this ends lesson 5-7.